remain is not up for debate. I made it through five of the filthiest governments in the whole universe. They checked every single hair on my body. Every single hair. And they finally determined I am not a threat. I was scared for my life at every stop. I was scared for my life with every breath of air I took. How come they all agreed that I am not a threat to any of them? I could not believe it. All these checkpoints made me so, so paranoid that I thought to myself, I might be a threat after all. I wanted to ask them at every stop, can you please check me again? Didn't any of these scanning machines at least tell you that I am threatened? How come my fear does not threaten you? America, I refused to believe that I would make it here till I really made it. Your greenness is overwhelming. Your vastness is mind-blowing. Your calmness and carelessness are unbearable. I know I should not feel this way, but this is how living between the Israeli jaws made me feel. Somehow, I made it out of the biggest open-air prison, Gaza, only to watch the world bring my pain up for debate. Asking me questions, they would never pause to my oppressor. Asking me to even be nice and friendly to my oppressor, because that would save them time and effort for action. Because that would free them from their responsibility as free people. And they've been nicely asking me to understand their whitewashed urge to please the oppressor in every human way possible. Their urge to ignore my pain in every human way possible. What, what they know about my pain is not how much they have to know. It is how much they want to know. So why would they? feel free to doubt and debate my pain. They say to me everything written in the dictionary of solidarity, but they hope I do not notice how they could not resist having a drink, having a dance, having a selfie, having a laugh or a hug with my oppressor. I wonder how, one, how, how can one hand of a human pat my shoulder while the other hand shakes the hand of my oppressor. My pain is being doubted before my eyes every day. My pain is being spilled like blood all over the grass all over the ocean. They step over my pain before my eyes every day. What they need to know about my pain is not nearly close to how much I can tell them in a conversation before we both get tired. They keep putting me on the shelf and hope that dust and rust make me vanish because my pain questions their humanity. 
My pain puts their principles to the test. My pain reminds them of how unbearable this TikTok generation is. The world that no longer believes in Jesus told me to turn the other cheek. I stood astonished. I swallowed up my pain. I could not help but wonder. How come the world not notice that for my whole life I've been chewed inside the mouth of my oppressor between its two cheeks? How can I nicely tell them to stop asking me to make peace with someone who made me a refugee so they could be an immigrant? With someone who's drinking my water, eating my dates, riding my camels, breathing my share of fresh air, destroying both my reality and my dreams, separating me from, their, from my family and friends so they could hold on to theirs, terrorizing me so they could feel safe and sound. How can I tell the world that my dignity is not up for debate? My pain is not up for debate. What do they know about my pain? Do they know enough about how the blood freezes every time a missile falls on a house nearby? Do they know enough about the sound of drones hovering over our sky all, all day and night? Do they know enough about our gray sky, gray sea, gray land, and gray trees? I do not think I should be telling them stories about how much I suffer to prove my point. I should not have to suffer at all. I should not have to suffer so my oppressor can enjoy life, achieve milestones, produce masterpieces, while I struggle to get out of bed every day because of them. How can I tell the world that my oppressor drinks my sweat, my tears, my blood. How can I tell them that my oppressor urinates on my dreams? Time cannot change the truth. Time cannot stop me from believing it. And if, the, if time changed the truth in their eyes, maybe they should worry about themselves, not me. Israelis did not kill me yet. They are killing me every day. Israel did not kill me yet, though this thought itself is killing me every day.